great day, Benguet listeners, especially our grade 3 learners. I am happy to be with you in our school on the air. Mrs. Vivian Guzman from Suyok Elementary School, Mankayan District, at your service. It is our mathematics class again. Today, we will go deeper in identifying ordinal numbers from 1st to 100th with the emphasis of 21st to 100th. But before we start, may I remind you of the following. 1. Please make yourself comfortable. 2. Be sure to have your module on the second week of the first quarter. Or your topic in identifying ordinal numbers from 1st to 100th. 3. Listen carefully and do not play. Lastly, our guardians, parents, please guide your child and be with them. Can you still remember our topic in ordinal numbers? Ordinal numbers are numbers that tell the position order or rank of an object or persons in a certain order. Example, Anna is the third child of Mr. and Mrs. Louise. What is the ordinal number in the sentence? If your answer is third, you are correct. How about you? Are you the first child? Second child? third child or the fifth child here is another example the girls are in line brushing their teeth anna is the nearest from the water faucet followed by mj maggie thelma albina bobbit and clara if bobbit is in the 26th place who is in the 27th place? I hope you get the answer. It is Clara. Clara is in the 27th place. Going back to our examples, the ordinal numbers are 3rd and 27th, right? How do we write 3rd and 27th in symbols? How about in words? Remember, in writing ordinal numbers in symbols, write the number, then add the correct suffix. In our example, write 3, then add the suffix rd to form 3rd. For 27, write 27 and then add the suffix th. In words, spell it out, 3rd. T H I R D third for twenty seventh T W E N T Y S E V E N T H twenty seventh Take note the 27th is a compound word, and this is a hyphenated word. So do not forget to put hyphen between 20 and 7. The suffixes we used in the ordinal numbers are rd, th, and d, and st. When do we use each suffix? Please go over on page 6 on your module. In your module, you answer the different activities and assessments. How is the result of each activity? How about the past assessment? Did you get correctly? If yes, 
Congratulations! You did your best. If not, don't be sad. You can review your motion. And today, we will discuss the pause assessment. This will help you a lot. Please open your module on page 12. We will go over and know how we arrive to the answers. You were asked to do the direction and answer each question. Let us start. Number one. If the 14th day of the month falls on a Wednesday, on what day does the 20th day fall? The correct answer is letter B. The 20th day is Tuesday. If you got it, wow, impressed. Start to count on Wednesday as 14th. So, Thursday is 15th. Friday is 16th. Saturday is 17th. Sunday is 18th. Monday is 19th. And Tuesday is the 20th day. Mm. Know the days of the week. Next, what is the tenth letter in the word Philippines? The answer is letter B again. The tenth letter is E. The word Philippines is composed of 11 letters, right? So start counting from the beginning letter, which is P. That is the first letter. Then H, second. I, third, N, fourth, I, fifth, P, sixth, P, seventh, I, eighth, N, ninth, E, tenth, and the eleventh is letter S. Therefore, the tenth letter is E. Let's go to number 3. How do you express ordinal number 19 in symbol? If you write letter A, that's good, 19th. Remember, in writing ordinal in symbols, write the number, then add the correct suffix. So write 19, then add the suffix TH. Number 4. The mother is in the blank place from the youngest child. If you wrote letter C, you are correct. The mother is in the fourth order. In the sentence, we have a reference point, the youngest son. Since the youngest son is in the left, we begin identifying the persons from left to the right. So, the youngest son is the first from the left, Second is the father. Third is the elder brother. Then fourth is the mother. And fifth is the sister. Wow! Number five, the last item. What is the position of the airplane when the mountain bike is in the 21st? Letter B is the correct answer. The airplane is in the 24th position. Please see the picture on your module. Let us go over the arrangement. You have there the mountain bike, the bus, the car, the airplane, and the ship. If the mountain bike is in the 21st, then the bus is 22nd. The car is in the 23rd. The airplane is in the 24th. And the ship is in the 25th. Again, the airplane is in the 24th. Another example. How about the car if the mountain bike is in the 43rd? 
If your answer is 45th, yay, you got it. Wow. So, are you cleared on your lesson? You can go over the activities actually. It is a big help for you to understand your lesson. If you are in doubt and have questions, you can ask the help of your teacher. This ends our topic for today. God bless and stay safe. Thank <laughs> you.